Let's face it, making PowerPoint slides is never a fun task. Luckily, Microsoft and Shutterstock have hooked up and now you can search for over 84 million photos without lifting a finger. Let's take a look. In order to use the Shutterstock plugin, you simply go to the store found under Insert in the PowerPoint application. Launching the store is going to give you your current list of add-ins as well as the main store. You can then search for Shutterstock and find what you're looking for. Clicking it will allow you to install it, and you just hit Trust, and now it installs into the application. Once launched, you can sign into Shutterstock, or you can just browse around. Once you do so, you can find images you want, and hit Try Image, and insert it right into your PowerPoint deck. So this is the beauty of the Shutterstock plugin. It basically allows you to use Office very seamlessly. You can be working on a project, find the image you're looking for, insert it right in there. It's a really small but easy thing that they have done, and it works very well. You can, of course, sign into the app with your account, or you could just use it without signing in. However, you won't be able to actually buy any images. For now, though, you can definitely search for categories and different topics. For instance, here, we're just looking at backgrounds. So you can find one you like, browse through it, and you can see try image or buy image. There are also similar images listed below, and you can look by the same artist if you happen to like their artwork. Finding an image we want, if we just want to hit try image, you're going to see it's now going to allow us to insert it right into our PowerPoint. And that's really the beauty here. It saves you the time of going out on the internet, trying to find that image, buy that image, download that image, and then re-upload it into your PowerPoint presentation. Now you can just streamline your work and make it much easier to find the images you want to use. Once you're loaded in the Shutterstock window, you can basically browse around by different categories. For instance, we have black and white here, education, people, places. Of course, if you're looking for something very specific, you can actually just type in what you're looking for. I want to look for a hamburger, so I type that in, and now it's going to bring down all the photos in Shutterstock of a hamburger. Find the one I want, click it, and now you can see I can have a try image or use the image. I just want to try it out. It's going to allow me to insert it into my PowerPoint. Of course, it's going to have the Shutterstock logo on top there, but I do get the idea of how it'll look and whether or not I want to use it. Overall, it's very easy to use and simple. So there's a quick look at the new Shutterstock plugin for Office 365. For more information, just head to Windows Central. Thanks for watching. Take care.